Hey, Cancers. You know who it is. This is all right. All right, Cancers. I'm using a dick with no filter. Dick with no filter. Ain't no telling what this uh, dick going to say. Ain't no telling what this dick going to say, Cancers. Hmm. All right, let's see what's going on. This reading going to be for May the 12th, 2022. The dick with no filters. Spirit of the earth, water, fire, and air. Dead with no filters. What do you want to call cancers out on? What do you want to call them out on, uh, Spirit? With truth and clarity. May the 12th, 2022. You, what do you want to call them out on, Spirit? With truth and clarity. Cancers, I hope some of you guys been keeping up with them damn dishes. I hope you guys not interrupting people. Um, I hope you guys are... What else we, uh, the cause always come out for cancers? Something else that always come out. You're irritated? Hmm. All right. Family shit getting on your nerves? Okay, let's see what else spirit want to call you out on. Some of course I need to see and speak. Spirit, what do you want to call cancers out on? With truth and clarity, what do you want to call them out on? It says to it says forgive, not for them. Do that shit for you. Somebody you need to you need to forgive somebody, Kansas. Somebody you need to forgive. All right, what else? What do else you want to call them out on spirit with truth and clarity? Agree to fucking disagree, Kansas. Agree to fucking disagree. It says you see shit differently. That life with another person, good time. You see, you see shit differently. That's life with another person, good times. <laughs> Agree to fucking disagree. You see shit differently. That's life with another person, good times. Mm, all right. What else for cancers? With truth and clarity. What do you want to call them out on, Spirit, with truth and clarity? Uh, you're a fucking stress. It says mas massage, bend, and watch and chill. Spirit, you fucking stress. What else for cancer? What you want to call them out on, Spirit? It's not that serious, Cancer Spirit said. It's not that serious. Laugh at you. It said, "Laugh at your fuckers. Don't let the bullshit. Don't let the bullshit make you bitter." It says, "Laugh at your fuckers. Don't let the bullshit make you bitter." Hmm. It's not that serious, cancers. What else? You want to call cancers out on spirit with truth and clarity? What else, spirit? Hmm. What else, Spirit? What you want to call them out on with truth and clarity? Oh, <laughs> it says shut the fuck up, Kansas. You don't know what the hell you talk about. Still love you, XOXO. It says shut the fuck up. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. It says still love you, XOXO. Hmm. One more for Kansas. Damn, it's feels hard on the niggas. We need to shut up. What the hell? What else for cancer with truth and clarity? It says you fucked up, cancer. Yeah, it's your fault. Say that shit out loud. I'm sorry. What the? What? Spirit. Hmm. One more. I got to Oh, this flew out. It says, so listen, you still don't fucking get it. Hmm. <sighs> Spirit. I think you you're pretty hard with, uh, with cancers today. You're very hard with cancers today, Spirit. What's really going on? You're very hard with cancers. You're very hard with cancers today, Spirit. All right. It says to listen, Cancer. Listen. Why this card is here for cancers? They need to listen. Listen. You still don't fucking get it. Why do we? What do we need to listen to, Spirit? <laughs> listen, Kansas, and say you still don't fucking get it. What is it? What do we have to listen to? Why this card is here? Listen for Kansas. A soulmate. They say you need to listen to your soulmate. This person is sad. This person is missing you. Mm. This could be a new love, new friendship. This is one you 
who has some kind of good communication with this person? This is one you had some kind of enjoyment with this person? But you see this person is someone very deceitful. And this person wants to commit to you. But you feel like this person hide, you feel like this person has secrets, hiding things from you. This is the one that you have to make a decision about this person. You have your walls up on this person. You want to make a decision, work on things with you. This person want to make a decision, work on things with you, but you want to close out this cycle with this person. They said, listen, listen to a soulmate. You still not fucking getting it. Hmm. It's, it's hard for you guys to trust anybody anymore. Okay, it says forgive. Do that shit for you. You need to forgive. Why this card says cancer? You need to forgive. You need to forgive someone that wants to talk to you and want to take action on you. It could be a Capricorn or Aquarius. Forgive that person. Don't, don't forgive them from you or for, the, for them. Do it for you. This person live at a distance and acting distant. That person could have ghost you and not show you any emotions because this person could be sad and drinking because of a, a, a someone passed away or death or because of someone hurt them pretty badly. Mm. It says agree to fucking disagree. It says you see shit differently. Cancer, some of you guys do see shit differently. That's life with another person. You see shit different. Not the old person. You see shit different with a new person. Agree to <laughs> agree to fucking disagree. Why this card is here for cancers? Agree to fucking disagree. Why this card is here? Someone that you want a family with. This is one that's feeling somebody wants a family with you. This is one feeling guilt and feeling shame because of something they had done with you, got done to you. It could be a Pisces or a Sagittarius. This person thinks about you. This is one that wants an equal give and take. This is one to see you as this king of corn. That person see you as someone doing pretty good for yourself. This is the one that wants to send you an unexpected message about having a, 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 a good time with them, have drinks with them. This is the one that wants to give you a lot of attention, but you've been holding yourself back from this person. This could be someone new. Hmm. All right. You're a sh fucking stress, cancers. You're stressed. It said you binge. You, you need a massage. Binge, watch, and chill. It said you're stressed out, cancers. Why this card is here for cancers? You're fucking stressed. Why this card is here? You're stressed out because of someone that broke your heart. This is one that had your relationship on home. Could be a Libra. Or this is a Pisces. This is the one that you want to take the leap of faith with this person, but this person left you out in the cold, left you all alone because this person was trying to hide someone that they apologize to. You're angry with this person. You're, you're angry. You want this person to fight for a relationship with you, but this person had walked away from you because of someone else they were very attracted to. Yeah, you stressing out about that. Spirit said it's not that serious, Kansas. It's not that serious. Laugh at those fuckers. Don't let the bullshit make you bitter. Why this card is here for cancers? It's not that serious. Spirit said, some of you guys are feeling very burdened or burnt out. Because of Sagittarius. You feel like this person tried to manipulate you. Sagittarius or Gemini. This is one you see is in and out. But you see the sunshine, you see happiness being with this person, but you want some kind of truth and clarity from this person about a pregnancy or about a, a, an empress. Hmm. It says, shut the F up, Kansas. It says, you don't know what the H you're talking about, still love you. Hmm. Shut the F up. Why the cancer have to shut up, spirit? Why the cancer have to shut up? <laughs> it says, someone sees you as, your, as their wish for... Someone sees you as they wish fulfillment, Kansas. The person see you as someone grounded, a loyal, dependable, a good business person. This is the one could be younger than you. This is one that try to make a decision about you. This is one to see you as they wish fulfillment. This person is trying to be patient with you. This person wants you. The person stalk you. This is one that's still holding on you, not letting you go. This one could be sad because you took a break from them, and this person want to move to come awards with you. This is one who want to have you have uh, marry you or have kids with you. This person want to move forward with you. This one could be feeling depressed, not sleeping at nighttime. 
Because this person has been waiting for you. It says you, you F up, Cancers. Why this card is here? It says you F up, Cancers. You F up. Yeah, it's your fault. Say that shit out loud. I'm sorry. Some of you guys that F up with someone. Why this card is here? For Cancers. Why is this card is here for Cancers? It says you fucked up, Cancers. Why this card is here? Hmm. Some of you guys end things with someone. You end things with someone. Go be a Scorpio. Or somebody's in this energy that you end things. And this person could be sad because you end things. You feel like this person will try to juggle you and someone else. You feel like this person could be married. And you were very indecisive about this person. You saw this person as your twin flame. But you feel like this person stressed you out. You feel like this person have a lot of people fighting for this person's attention. You could have met this person at work through family, friends, or co-workers. Or some kind of business. This person is feeling sad, feeling all alone. This is one that wants to take you out, you know, and show you a good time. But you cut this person out of your life and you end things with this person so that you can have victory. This is something, this is someone you've been looking back at something that that person has said to you or done to you. This is someone that wants this opportunity with you, but you wanted things to be balanced. You wanted things to be fair. You feel like this person, see you as... Oh, you, uh, uh, someone independent. The per, you see, you see this person see you as someone increasing in wealth, and you feel like uh, uh, this. You feel like this person want luck with you, and you feel like this person trying to control you. But this is the one that you see a future with this person. You did see yourself being a family with this person. You did see this person someone loving and caring and giving. You wanted to start this new passion start with this person, but you're still looking back at your past. And you see this person as someone from your past. Hmm. All right, Kansas. If you're new to my channel, hey, hit that like button, hit that notification button, subscribe to my channel. If you're a person to read for me, all the information is down below in the description box. Until next time, you guys. Bye-bye.